Okay, so this short web tutorial is going to explore a new feature I just saw down here at the bottom, Instantly Map Your Photo Albums uh, from the Import menu. So let's check it out and see what it does. So I have a Google My Map here. You can find these in your drive. And uh, I'm just going to hit Import, and there's an option now that says Photo Albums. And so if I go in, I'll see my Google Photo Albums, but I just added one uh, called A Year of Adventures. And they're just all sorts of photos. Now, is there a way to batch select? There we go. Look at that. Uh, we're going to do that. And nope. Let's try it again. Let's see if we can get everything in here. Perfect. All right. So I want all these. I'm going to hit select. Let's see what happens. What should happen is they should all end up on my map in the locations that they were taking. Look at this. Um, I've got, oh man, check this out. So we can click into Indonesia. Uh, we've got some photos from Indonesia. Uh, here's some from the Bay Area and some from Japan and the fish market. What a cool way um, to see all your stuff. Uh, here we go, New York. Um, wow. Now, my question is, there were 32 that I selected. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Looks like it got pretty close to everything in there. And so if I zoom in, uh, do I see multiple photos maybe in certain places? Um, this is pretty cool. So awesome new little, okay, it looks like I'm missing a few from Honduras that didn't all make it there. And I'm wondering if it has to do with the fact that they just were not uh, geotagged when they were taken. Although if I keep going, it looks like there's actually, there's a few photos right there. That is super cool. Look at this. There's all three of them. They're just kind of on top of each other. Um, awesome new little feature into Google My Maps.